You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about the Dallas Cowboys by default, but we're going to talk about the big coaching move that just happened in college basketball. And I'm talking about the shocker that John Calipari is leaving Kentucky, a a known powerhouse college basketball program. I think everybody would would say, even though there's been less winning late in the tournament of late, notoriously, of course, uh, Kentucky is like North Carolina, Kansas, Duke, these blue blood kind of college basketball programs that you wouldn't expect that a, a coach would necessarily willingly leave unless they were going to the NBA, maybe. And these days, I don't know about that even. But we have since learned, because of the connection with Arkansas, which is where Calipari's going, that Jerry Jones, the Dallas Cowboys owner, may have played a real role here, along with the Broncos owner. Yeah. Uh, So, just to get you up to speed very quickly, because I understand we, we cover primarily the NFL, but we will cover other things on this channel. John Calipari is finalizing a five-year deal to become the next men's basketball coach at Arkansas. Sources told ESPN on Sunday night, a blockbuster move that will shake up the SEC and college basketball landscape. Calipari's contract is expected to be an overall base salary of slightly less than the $8.5 million that he's already making in Kentucky. However... However, there it is. The deal is expected to be an incentive-laden deal with the ability to pass that number. Okay, so, and just to get you up to speed, because I needed to be up to speed, Eric Musselman, by the way, left for USC. That's where this came in. And uh, let's scroll down so we can just get an idea of where things were for Calipari right now. One of the biggest names in college sports, Calipari has been with Kentucky since 2009, led the Wildcats to the national title in 2012, and went to four Final Fours in his first six seasons in Lexington. Kentucky then went on to the Elite Eight in 2017 and 2019, but has won just one NC2A tournament game since that last run to the regional final. Off the court, Calipari established the Wildcats as a recruiting powerhouse, routinely landing top-ranked recruiting classes. He went 410 and 123, folks. And that right there makes you think, okay, well, maybe there's a need for a change because if you're still recruiting well, and he is, the coaching message is getting lost somewhere. If you haven't, you know, had any real success, I mean, one tournament win since 20 uh, or since 2019 so five five seasons five let's call it five tournaments that's not good all right that's not good for a program like Kentucky so I imagine some wildcat fans are probably like good we needed a, a bit of a reboot so enter in Jerry Jones Jerry Jones role as Arkansas booster credited for helping to hire John Calipari uh, you're you're spending money on this, but you're not. What are you doing for the Cowboys exactly? Uh, that's neither here nor there. That part of that is Dak's contract. Cowboys didn't have any money. They didn't have any money. Of course, there's salary cap rules. Jerry just can't reach in his pocket. Although one could argue, there's certainly ways to do it. Okay, in the NFL. On a day when college basketball eclipses football for the attention of American sports fans, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is playing a big part in the college hoops world. Jones' alma mater, Arkansas, has hired John Calipari away from Kentucky, and Jones' status as a booster has been cited as one of the reasons why Calipari walked away from a college football blue blood to coach the Razorbacks. Now, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people are talking about this, this arrival in such a way as they once talked about Nick Saban showing up to Alabama. 
we'll have to see. We'll have to see how this goes. But, you know, Arkansas's had some success in the past, too. And obviously, so had Alabama football. Uh, So, anyway, Jones played college football at Arkansas and remains involved as a donor. And in the new world of college sports where so much success hinges, hinges on convincing players that wealthy donors will hook them up with lucrative NIL deals, a booster like Jones is attractive to players and coaches alike. Broncos co-owner Rob Walton is also an Arkansas graduate, and he too has been named as an Arkansas booster whose presence makes Arkansas attractive to Calipari. Walton and his family, the owners of Walmart, have deep ties to the state and the university. Jones hasn't spent a lot of money on free agents for the Cowboys this offseason, but his ability to spend money may have it played a role in one of the bigger stories of the year in another sport. That's never exactly a great sign when you own the Dallas Cowboys and your big money-making move in the offseason was to fund John Calipari going to Arkansas. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm kidding because I care. You know, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm just saying. Because I've seen a lot of Cowboys fans really bent out of sorts, but the problem is Dak's contract. Yeah, I mean, that contract's big, and it's only going to get bigger. And we've heard Jerry Jones talk about the fact that Essentially, Dak Prescott may be on borrowed time, and you're, and that is sort of the reason between C.D. Lamb and all these other players has got to be paid. Uh, the Cowboys have been really quiet this offseason, but I thought it was rather funny that the Cowboys owner, in a very quiet Dallas Cowboys offseason, went out and funded John Calipari to leave Kentucky to show up at Arkansas. I was like, oh, God. This is this could go over like a wet fart in church to Cowboys fans. Uh, by the way, people believe that... I don't know if people believe, and I think Dak's a good quarterback, and I think if he was on a team where everything was perfect around him, yeah, Dak can win a Super Bowl. We've seen a lot of quarterbacks not as good as Dak win Super Bowls over the years on really damn good football teams. Um, I don't love their coaching situation. I thought they should have hired Bill Belichick. I'm not going to kid you. And oddly enough, circling back around the deck, there's a lot of fire right now about, well, if the Patriots choose not to do quarterback in the draft and they build the rest of the team, their number one target next offseason in 2025 would be Dak Prescott. Now, I find that rather odd. But I know Belichick was a big fan of Dak. So, I don't know. I mean, there's you've got so much interconnectivity, even with Belichick being gone. But the point is, um, I don't know how this is going to work out for Arkansas. But one thing's for sure, with NIL money and these kind of pockets, I mean, Walmart money, Broncos money, Cowboys money, Jerry Jones, John Calipari's recruiting could end up being off the charts, folks. I can't wait to see how this way uh, plays out. I really can't. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.